Hi, I'm Greg Furch. I'm the art director on XCOM Enemy Unknown. And it was uh, shortly after uh, Terror from Deep had come out, and I started playing uh, the original XCOM. And, and the sheer terror that you felt when you'd send your guys out into the darkness and have them die. And, and quickly I learned that, you know, that was actually my friend. Permadeath was good. And, and I still, to this day, can remember the, the, the very first time I encountered a sectoid and how creepy that was when he peeked through the, the orchard through the darkness and that was just an, an absolutely super cool time and even more cool that it was done in you know 320 by 240 graphic. Yeah so I mean you know that that's been one of the things is to try and really maintain that that mood and that tension and that feel and I think a lot of that a lot of that falls on the art and how how we present ourselves and how we uh, supply our part of the game so um, you know, that's been something that's really driven us uh, to, to kind of keep that sort of mood when you're on missions and to really make sure the player has that, that, that sort of sense of discovery and encounter and then conflict. XCOM, at least the, the initial characters, really played a, a stereotype. And even the art direction plays with a stereotype. You know, if you've got, uh, you know, if somebody's, you know, a bad guy, he's got a cape and shoulder pads. Um, or you know, or he's got one or the other, or he's got horns, or um, so you know. We, we tried to look at the, those decisions that they made, um, and, and they've sort of been adopted by pop, pop culture as you know. You know what a sectoid is. He's a little gray guy. These guys, they, they don't look like real soldiers. They look like, you know, they look like you know, GI Joes. And I said, y yeah, you know, right? They, they actually are. They're 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 action figures. It was something that. It, I knew in, internally, but I hadn't actually necessarily vocalized at that point, and when I was called out on it, um, to actually sit there and think about it for a second, go, yeah, no, that's absolutely correct. We are making action figures. But I think the, the one thing, the advantage we have now, is that we can make things look gorgeous. And so for us, we're really looking at making, you know, the, the really great player experience uh, both visually and through design that's immersive and engaging and so uh, for me being being an artist uh, you know that's the thing that I want us to really that, that I'm the most excited about as far as playing the game I think it's a, again it's it's it, it goes back to what I was just saying is it's giving giving people a, a new choice in, in how they game and and what they're going to play and something that's slightly different than you know what people normally have